T-Rex versus Spinosaurus. Updated with all the latest 2022 scientific discoveries. Well, we know that the Spinosaurus would beat the T-Rex in water. But what about land? The Shonen Jurassic Park 3. In many ways, the real-life Jurassic Park 3 Spinosaurus was like a supersized aquatic version of a Velociraptor. The Spinosaurus weighed 13 to 22 tons and measured up to 57 feet. It was a semi-aquatic species that maneuvered well in wet, swamp-like environments. And thanks to its massive, fin-like tail, the Spinosaurus was also incredibly fast in large bodies of water. These dinosaurs also had long arms, fitted with sharp claws that ranged from 6 to 8 inches long and could make cuts up to 2 inches deep. Those arms, however, hung downwards in order to aid their hunting of fish, and claws could not be rotated to grab, as is depicted in JP3. Additionally, the Spinosaurus' jaw was basically useless in a fight. Its conical teeth were well equipped to grip slippery fish, but were incapable of causing any major damage to other flesh. On top of that, the creature's skull was ill-suited to lateral bending and higher levels of stress, making battle with a traditional bipedal dinosaur like a T-Rex almost impossible. Not only that, but the Spinosaurus' short back legs meant it was well suited to water, as we know, and certainly not made for long land excursions or anything involving agility. The Spinosaurus also had a major design flaw. Its weakest point, the spine, was completely exposed. Although the Spinosaurus' sail may have helped scare away potential threats by making it appear bigger, one bad move and it could be paralyzed by its attacker. Now on to how Jurassic Park 3's Spinosaurus compares to the real version. In the recently ended Jurassic Park franchise, oh, for now, the Spinosaurus is markedly more intimidating and lethal than the real life version. Though it would have been impressive to see Jurassic World bring back the Spinosaurus, it probably would not have been an accurate portrayal by any means, as it's changed so much. Most of the dinosaurs featured in the Jurassic Park movies are a product of the limited knowledge scientists and filmmakers have of them at the time of filming, and the Spinosaurus was no exception. The creature's agility in the film is hugely overplayed. It's too fast, too flexible, and too agile on land by far. In fact, similar to the Mosasaur, a real-life Spinosaurus could encounter problems just by trying to get out of water in order to catch smaller prey. So venturing out to chomp down on the Tyrant Lizard King would have been a difficult task. With the more recently found fossil records, scientists have been able to tweak several details about the Spinosaurus. For instance, it's now known that its legs weren't nearly as long as those in JP3, in which the Spinosaurus already had shorter legs than the T-Rex. In true Hollywood fashion, Jurassic Park 3 introduced a remarkably huge exemplar, and even though it may have been possible that a real-life Spinosaurus could grow to such a size, the sheer stature of this particular specimen could not have been reached by a standard Spinosaurus. Okay, now let's see how Jurassic Park 3's T-Rex compares to the real version. With a bit of movie magic, the Jurassic Park series brought the most well-known dinosaur specimen, the T-Rex, to life. However, like any movie, studios took some liberties when it came to the dinosaur's appearance. The T-Rex is a massive dinosaur, and in JP3, it looks comparable in size to its Spinosaurus foe, but it doesn't come out so well in a real-life Spinosaurus versus T-Rex size comparison. The Spinosaurus measures around 15 meters or 49 feet in length, with a weight of 26,000 to 44,000 pounds. T-Rex, on the other hand, only measures 12.3 meters long, close to 40 feet, with the largest specimen weighing around 12,400 pounds. Therefore, a T-Rex is not very comparable in mass when looking at the Spinosaurus, who outweighs the T-Rex by about 14,000 pounds. There is also no telling what age the T-Rex was in Jurassic Park 3, as, until they reach 14 years old, they only weigh around 4,000 pounds. So the dinosaur featured at the end of the movie must have been a full-grown adult. In addition to making the T-Rex as big as the Spinosaurus, the dinosaur's appearance wasn't wholly accurate. The debate rages on as to whether or not the Tyrannosaurus was covered in feathers. This comes from the discovery of the filamentous structures, precursors to feathers, found on the Tyrannosaurid, known as the Dilong Paradoxus. Some studies have also suggested that the T-Rex has lips to cover his teeth, rather than the crocodile-type mouth that the movies depict. 
Another interesting fact is that the T-Rex's puny arms were actually capable of lifting almost 500 pounds. The arms themselves may not have been used defensively, but they weren't completely useless. Despite all of these inconsistencies, the posturing of the dinosaur is said to be as close as possible to the real thing. Jurassic Park 3 also depicts the T-Rex running in short bursts. While the Tyrannosaurus is capable of going up to 20 miles per hour, 32 kilometers an hour, this is probably the fastest that the dinosaur could go. Compared to other predators like the Carnotaurus or the Giganotosaurus, it's pretty slow. In addition, the dinosaur wasn't known for running long distances. However, it did walk far and often. While Jurassic Park tries to be scientifically correct with its depiction of dinosaurs, some of the creatures just don't measure up to the real life counterparts. Okay, now onto the Spinosaurus versus the T-Rex in real life. Some scenes in Jurassic Park 3 show that the Spinosaurus's fangs were just as long, if not longer, than those of a T-Rex, which is simply not the case. The T-Rex had some of the largest teeth recorded of the meat-eating dinosaurs, reaching a huge 12 inches in length. Meanwhile, the Spinosaurus's teeth were a little more than 3 inches long, at most. But perhaps the biggest difference between the movie Spinosaurus and the real-life Spinosaurus is the force of its bite. In JP3, the Spinosaurus easily defeated the T-Rex by clenching its neck tightly between its jaws. While this might be possible with a smaller organism, it's unlikely that a Spinosaurus would be able to do that with a dinosaur as robust and muscular as a T-Rex. Though the Spinosaurus had an impressive bite force of two tons, its teeth would have been too small and too dull to grab hold of T-Rex's neck long enough to bite down on it, let alone break it in half. Of course, Jurassic Park's depiction of the T-Rex was also slightly inaccurate. Its recent findings have changed the way we view it, mainly the feathers. However, these small changes are unlikely to change the outcome of the battle between the T-Rex and the Spino due to the very nature of their species and the environment they inhabited. Any pathway to victory would require a lot of power and coordination from the Spinosaurus, which was not a species known for its brains. After all, even in-universe, Dr. Alan Grant was able to scare one off by igniting boat fuel and setting the path in front of it on fire. If a Spinosaurus and a T-Rex were to go head-to-head -head under the same circumstances shown in JP3, certain that the iconic T-Rex would come out on top. A slight disadvantage of size would easily be made up for by its strength and lethal bite power. So 90% goes to the T-Rex. Whose side are you on? Tyrannosaurus Rex or Spinosaurus, the fish catcher? You decide. Go to www.viralkiller.one.